Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my top five favorite plants right now. And if you've been following me, I'm sure you think that you already know what plants I'm going to mention, but I promise you don't. Or maybe just one. Let's get into it. I'm gonna start by getting the most obvious one out of the way because we all know I'm loving her. And honestly, I just wanna show you guys the huge new leaf that she put out, especially for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram. If you don't, what are you doing? So this obviously comes as no surprise. My Alocasia Jacqueline is my number one favorite plant right now. And look at the leaf she just put out. I feel like we were just sitting here talking about the same exact thing. Cause I tend to be very clumsy. Oh, wow. But I promise you guys, this plant just loves me and it loves growing. That was when she put out this leaf right here. I had no idea, let me stop lying, I definitely knew the next leaf was gonna be bigger because the leaves have been sizing up like crazy. I know a lot of you guys are following my Alocasia Jacqueline journey and you're just as shocked as I am. It's honestly so fun to share excitement over plants with you guys, you have no idea. Look at how big this leaf is, let me back it up. I feel like I'd be so close to the camera like, get the fuck up. I feel like it could be hard to show the leaf size in a picture. I kind of zoom in on the pictures when I take pictures of plants to get that nice shot of that perfect leaf. But I want to show you guys from all the way back here. I'm going to put my hand down here. <sighs> That's freaking nuts. Should we measure it? I'm not going to measure it. Look at how large this leaf is. I honestly can't believe it. I'm so excited. I can't imagine what the next one's gonna look like. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this plant, but I'm excited to see what this becomes. One of the cool things that I noticed about this leaf versus any of the other leaves is the back of it. So if you look at this leaf, the leaf I was obsessed with a couple weeks ago, it's like a plain leaf. But if you look at the back of this one, look at the purple hues. So freaking cool. I honestly knew I knew this leaf was going to be a lot bigger because I saw that the stem right here was a lot thicker. So I already knew it was going to be massive. This leaf hasn't even hardened off yet. So I don't even know what it's, oh my god, it's really not hardened off yet. And it's already this large. So I really can't imagine what this plant is going to become eventually. I just know that she's been in the greenhouse. I have a Millsbo wide and she's been in there for the entire time I've had her basically. I do take her out during the day. Sometimes in the morning I'll turn on the humidifier in the greenhouse and then I'll let her get really wet. I'll take her out and put her in a bright indirect light for the entire day. And then she goes back in the greenhouse and gets another little soaking. This is obviously my favorite plant, guys. You'll be seeing a lot of her as long as she's with me because it's the coolest plant I've ever had. But I digress. Moving on. The next plant that I've really been loving lately is a plant that's been with me for years now. Drum roll, please. It's my fiddle leaf fig. And I honestly don't think you could even understand how this little tree could be one of my favorite plants, but that's because you don't know where she comes from. She comes from nothing. No leaves, no nada. As a plant parent, that really gives you some confidence when you grow a tree like this from nothing. Granted, it took about three years for her to get like this. I'm gonna knock on wood after this. I've never had to deal with the pest with my brand new and improved fiddle leaf fig that I grew, which has honestly been a blessing. I love this plant so much. It's so easy to take care of. The only reason why this leaf is yellowing down here is because I left it unwatered for too long. Shit happens, you know? I would love to get a large fiddle leaf fig, but as you guys know, my entire collection's in semi-hydro. So getting a fiddle leaf fig to this point in my collection takes far too long. I mean, if I start now, I just hate the fact that when you propagate a fiddle leaf fig, all the leaves drop off and it's just devastating. So I probably won't be doing that for a while, but that's definitely something that I'll do in the future. But for right now, it's just me and this little baby that I grew. I'll give you guys a quick close up of some of the backs of the leaves, which is my favorite part on the fiddle leaf fig. I just love the tone of like yellowish goldish brown, the juicy green color. Oh my God, it's just so beautiful. I mean, the front is beautiful too. Don't get me wrong, but I just love the back of the leaves. They look so cool. Moving on. The next plant you guys have not seen in a while because it actually caught thrip. 
like a year ago now. Honestly, I have no concept of time, so it probably was like six months ago. I actually have no idea. <laughs> just know that this plant has not been in the general population of my other plants in a very long time because I was so scared that the thrip was gonna transfer. I don't even know if she has thrip anymore or not. I know my Monstera Peru has thrip right now, and I'm literally this close to tossing that plant, but it's so beautiful. Anyways, so the next plant that I've been loving is my Calathea orbifolia. If you guys have been following me, you know that I got this plant big and beautiful. And when I transferred it over to Semi Hydro, it actually did really good. It was putting out growth left and right. I was super excited. You guys can go back and watch my previous videos. But like I said, she did end up catching thrip and losing all of her leaves but one. I almost tossed the plant. And then I saw a little piece of growth popping up, so obviously I kept it. And that's when I got this little leaf right here. I'm not even going to touch it because I'm scared it still has thrip. But I got this little leaf right here that came out kind of cute. So I was wicked excited to see that. And then I recently got this guy. I love how floppy the leaves are. Like, look at how good. Forgot about the thrip. But yeah, I'm super obsessed. I've always really loved the Calathea orbifolia. I've had several in the past. Actually, I've only had two of them. I killed the first one. I think this is my second one. Yeah, this is only my second one. I haven't had several. But this is my second one. It's just been several years of stress with this plant. So it feels like I've had a lot of them, but it's just been the same one dying and getting resurrected over and over again. I wouldn't recommend this plant to nobody, honestly, because it's really hard to take care of. I don't know what to do with it. I don't give it any humidity, though, so that might be the issue. But I'm excited because she has this little piece of growth coming out in the middle. I thought she still had the rip because this leaf was getting a little bit crusty on the end, like this one, too. But I think that's just the life of the Calathea orbifolia. They're crusty. I don't think she has thrip anymore, but like I said, she's not allowed in the general population. Even her being in here right now is pushing her limits. So send my Calathea orbifolia good vibes so she doesn't die of thrip. Let's move on. Another plant that I know you guys would not guess. That I've been loving. Is my little anthurium that I got from one of my Instagram followers. I don't know why I said it like that. There's a girl who follows me. She reached out and she said, hey, can I send you a plant? And I said yes. Anyways, I'm gonna link her Instagram down below because she has a whole shop where she sells a bunch of these. Anthurium. This is a seedling because it's small. I don't know. I really don't. This chair. <laughs> it was a lot smaller when I first got it. I think it's put out two to three leaves since I got it and it's putting out a tiny one right now. And I don't know if you guys have Anthurium, but I know you see this little tiny leaf. It's actually gonna get as big as one of these, maybe even bigger, which is so freaking cool. I've never owned an Anthurium, so I didn't expect it to do that. I thought it was putting out these tiny leaves because I transferred it to Pawn, and that's what sometimes my plants will do, which is super annoying. But when it sized up, I was super excited. She also sent me another one, but that one has Thrip. I don't know who the Thrip guy is in this house, but I'm gonna find him. Somebody has to have Thrip in here. And it's spreading. I keep her in the greenhouse, although Jonna told me, imagine her name's not Jonna, I think it might be Jenna. It's definitely Jenna, oh my god, I'm so annoying. I think Jenna told me, is her, what the fuck is her name? I'm not going to get my phone right now, I'm not. I think she told me that Anthurium do good in regular room humidity. Naturally, I stuck her in my greenhouse because she's small and she could fit, and I honestly feel that it does a lot better in there. Every time I put her back in the greenhouse, she puts out a little leaf. So I think I'm gonna keep her in there like one week in the greenhouse, one week out. So yeah, this is my little Anthurium, and I've just been loving her. This plant got a lot of likes on Instagram. I was honestly shocked because it's so small and people have way bigger Anthurium than this. But you guys loved it, so thank you. I love this, oh! I love this plant too. The next plant that I've been loving is my Cebu Blue Pothos. Let me back up a little bit so you guys can grasp how long she is. So this plant is about six feet long now, and I honestly think of this plant as the plant that just keeps on giving. Seriously, if you propagate this plant, it grows back so quick. We just propagated this plant, I would say maybe a month to a month and a half ago. Like I said, no idea when anything happened ever. So it looks like we propagated her back here, and she's already put out, let's see, one, two, three, four, five new growth points which is awfully exciting. And then I have her babies here. Oh my God, guys, they need water. Look, there's no water on the top. 
I'm gonna go around and water all my plants after this but these are her babies we will be potting these up soon because look at all those roots I don't know what happened here but yeah I cannot wait I freaking love this plant so much can't wait to pot these up so make sure you stay tuned and you're subscribed to my channel because we will be doing this soon I'll probably end up propagating this plant several more times because this plant hanging on a wall is just so beautiful I would fill my entire house with Cebu Blue Pothos if I could which I definitely could. I have no doubt that I'll have an entire apartment full of Cebu Blue Pothos and I cannot wait. This is such a stunning plant. I don't know what it is about this shade of blue, but it just gets me going. I love it so much. That does bring me to the end of today's video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know what plants you're loving down below in the comments. And until my next video, bye guys. Crooked. I can't tell if it's crooked or not. Who cares? You can either believe me or you cannot believe me.